As the job market becomes increasingly competitive, some people feel the need to go to increasingly random lengths in order to get the attention of employers. In fact, we recently conducted a survey and the results were overwhelming. 88% of Canadians told us that an ordinary resume or application just don't cut it anymore. So today, we're hitting the streets to find out what everyday Canadians think about the job market and what are some of the things people are doing in order to stand out. So how do you feel about the Canadian job market today? Oh man, anxious. Uh, I just got out of university May 2010. I spent more than a year looking for a job. It's pretty tough. I mean, some of the jobs, that, like part-time jobs that we're going for are, are taken. There's just so much competition out there for everyone to find work. Even though I've got skills, it's really hard to get that way in without knowing somebody. How important do you think it is to go the extra mile in order to stand out in a job interview? Uh, it's very important because it's what you basically bank on as a first impression. First impressions are always like a lasting impression. You only have one shot to really do your best and, and make that person believe in you. What do you think people have to do in order to make themselves stand out uh, from the crowd in a job interview? They have to be exceptional and they have to sh like be confident. It really, you have to go above and beyond and I think you have to differentiate yourself as well. You know, employers do want to see that you have a personality and that you are driven. The way that things are working nowadays is completely different than even what we were trained in our careers class in high school. Several years ago, I had a young fellow who was looking to work with us. He created his own beer labels with his name and his picture and some messages about why he'd be a great hire. And he applied them to six bottles of beer, put them in back in the pack, and delivered it to our office. It really stood out. It was creative, and we liked it. Now, we didn't hire him right away, but we remembered him. And about a year later, when we had an opening, we called him up, and it worked out. And he's now been with us for over 15 years. For some tips on what you can do to stand out in an interview and how to manage your career, visit us at workopolis.com. And for some examples of what not to do, check out our YouTube channel and watch as George tries his best to get a job. Hire me, please!